Guys, if you haven't yet, then subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon and never miss a video from Techo Friendly. Hi guys, once again welcome to Techo Friendly. So today I'm going to show you how to fix a small error that I caught recently in one of the laptops that I, I was fixing. Uh, so this is my friend's laptop and uh, she recently installed uh, Windows 7 in her laptop and uh, found out that she cannot connect to Wi-Fi since she doesn't have any Wi-Fi drivers installed in her PC as you can see. So I investigated about the issue and uh, came to know that uh, her laptop is missing Wi-Fi drivers. So I go ahead and uh, I downloaded the Wi-Fi drivers for her computer and uh, tried to install it. But while installing, I got an error, which is called entry point could not be located in the dynamic link library kernel 32.dll. So I'll, sh I'll quickly show you what the error is. So here is the drivers, Wi-Fi drivers. So when I'm trying to install it, I'm getting this error. All right, so you can see the procedure procedure entry point at DLL directory could not be located in the dynamic link library kernel 32.dll. So after investigating about this issue, uh, this is a commonly found issue and this happens when you try to install a newer version of a driver or a software in an older operating system. Older in the sense in an operating system which you don't have any updates installed, the latest updates installed. So, uh, and this surprisingly, this happens mostly in the uh, Windows 7 operating systems. So, the update patch responsible for this error is KB2533623. So, in order to fix this issue, all you have to do is you have to install this patch in your update patch in your computer. Now, Microsoft has surprisingly removed this update patch from their official website. So you are not going to find it on their official website anymore. So I'm going to upload this uh, update patch onto my Mediafire drive and I'm going to share the link in the description below. You can go ahead and download it for both 64-bit and 32-bit operating system. So here is the drivers as you can see. So just click on uh, go to the folder and as you can see there is two update patches one for 64 bit and one for 32 bit you're gonna have to uh, find out uh, whichever is for your computer by going into uh, you know just you can look by clicking on computer and properties you're gonna know about your computers or processors uh, you know uh, architecture whether it is 32 or 64 over here all right, uh, so I'm not gonna explain it more to you. So back to the fix. So you're gonna install it. So go ahead and uh, install whichever. Now th for 32 bit, now the people who don't know uh, x86 means for 32 bit uh, operating system. So don't be confused uh, by seeing uh, x86 over here. All right, and for 64 bit, it's just 64 bit. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and install this just double click on it and it is going to ask you whether you want to install this windows software update so i'm going to click yes so it's going to install it all right so it's installed on my pc so now i'm going to have to restart my computer so i'm going to quickly restart my computer and uh, come back all right yeah so as you can see my computer has restarted now i'm going to go ahead and try installing the drivers again all right click yes and install so as you can see the issue has been uh, fixed and uh, now i can install my driver so that's it guys that's it for this video Hope you guys liked my video and uh, this fix help you fix your issue. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you have any difficulties while doing this uh, procedure, entire procedure, just mention down in the comment section below and I'll try to reply to you as soon as possible. Also, do, do not forget to check out my channel. I upload all kind of uh, tech related videos, tutorials and fixes and uh, do share my channel with your friends and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel
so that's it see you guys in my next video till then take care bye bye